Dr. Kiza Besige's wife, Winnie Byanyima, has revealed that General Eli Tumwine apologized to her before he died. I have the details. The Prime Minister of Uganda has also revealed that General Eli Tumwine gifted her with a cow before he died. Well, in other news, Horrible Joel Senyonyi has also responded to President Museveni a few days after he promised to punish him politically. The taxpayer has injected over 1.6 trillion shillings in Uganda Airlines. There must be value for that money. I have the details. A very good afternoon. How are you doing today? My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. I'm back to keep you posted with the stories making headlines in the country. Yes, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting from the Prime Minister's camp, the Prime Minister of Uganda, Robina Nabanja, has revealed that General Eli Tumine gifted her with a cow before he died. Robin Anabanja says, we have lost a patriot, a freedom fighter, a genuine friend, and a man who spoke what he believed to be true no matter what. Uh, Nabanja has also revealed that before General Eli Tumine was admitted in hospital, he had come in the office of the Prime Minister to offer advice on a number of issues. And that's how she revealed that General Eli Tumine gifted her with a cow as if to say goodbye. Well, she ended by saying that General Eli Tumine will be greatly missed. Well, in other news, Dr. Kiza Besige's wife, Winnie Byanyima, has revealed that General Eli Tumine apologized to her before he died. According to Winnie Byanyima, General Eli Tumine apologized for trying to rig her election as a member of parliament from Barura Municipality in 2001. Winnie Byanyima revealed this information through her social media platform Twitter after her follower asked whether she would shake hands with Tumine if he was still alive. Now, in her own words, she said, Jeno Tumine called me and apologized for leading an unsuccessful attempt to rig my election as member of parliament for Mbarura municipality in 2001. If you have been on social media after the death of Jeno Eli Tumine, you must have seen some people saying that Jeno Eli Tumine was poisoned. But President Museveni, on his Twitter handle yesterday, as he announced the death of Jeno Eli Tumine, he revealed that Tumine had cancer of the lungs. And also, according to Daily Monitor, Jeno Tumine had been receiving treatment at the Uganda Casa Institute. So I think the public should disregard that poison claim that is making rounds on social media. Well, in other news, uh, recently President Museveni said he will politically punish horrible Joel Senyonyi at the right time for attempting to sabotage his plans to revive the Uganda Airlines into a vibrant entity. Now, Honorable Joel Senyonyi has also responded to President Museveni. He says Ugandans have injected a lot of money in the Uganda Airlines. Actually, over 1.6 trillion has been injected in the Uganda Airlines, so they cannot look on because they want the airline to function. The reason we do this work is because we want these entities to function the right way. The taxpayer has injected over 1.6 trillion shillings in Uganda Airlines. There must be value for that money. How do you say we should not inquire into these things because when you inquire into them, you are sabotaging the airline or that kind of thing? No, we want the airline to function. The people who are sabotaging it are those who are doing wrong, the guys that we are trying to point out. The CEO, Jennifer Bamuturaki, was not appointed following the guidelines because they had put out an advert for people interested. 40 people applied. Two days to the expiry of the deadline, somebody gets to be a, a, you know, a sub substantively appointed. We asked her, did you apply? She said, no, the day I was to apply, that's when I was appointed. And then turns out her qualifications are also lacking. She has a bachelor's degree, the human resource manual says it must be a bachelor's degree, and more, master's or whatever. So we, we are raising these issues because we want the airline to get better. It must be fixed. Horebo Senyonyi also assured other heads in different institutions of government that Kosase is coming for them, so they should put their houses in order. 
I think that uh, they must know that we are coming for them too. So put your house in order. And please, do, don't wait for Kusase to fast expose you and all of that. Just do the right thing. Of course, if you don't do the right thing, we shall put it out there. And there are people who are saying, well, all we do is expose, nothing more happens. That's a good place to start. Okay, for us to discharge our duty, expose the rot. And that's why they fear even that exposure. That's why there are threats all over, they are panicking and all of that. Uh, we'll do what we have got to do. Well, there you go. That is Honorable Joel Senyonyi, Member of Parliament for Nakawa West. And actually, Ugandans appreciate so big time the job Joel and uh, his Kosasi team are doing. And we can only pray for their safety for now. Well, that's the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Thank you. Audio Jungle.